Kid Comic Club Influencers by Dave Pilkey. Yeah. Chapter One, Winter is Coming. Hello, folks. I'm Sarah Hadoff. It's been over six weeks since my last report, and I'm sorry to inform you all that the, that, that the Cat Kid Comic Club is no more tear cry. With me today is Flippy. He's the father of 22 baby frogs who, who started this club 10 weeks ago with their friend Lil Petey. Hello. Tell me, Flippy, where did it all go wrong? Well, unfortunately, things around here have gotten too stressful. Does this have anything to do with the comic book that is going to be published? I'm afraid so. I think we- Hey, Daddy! Naomi and Summer and Starla are fighting! Let's go! <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah! What is going on here? Naomi called us dummies. Naomi, I do not want you using words like dummy or doofus or dim bulb or any other metaphors for unintelligent. Huh? Daddy, those aren't metaphors. They're synonyms. Hmm. <laughs> um. Can we say bug brain instead? No, you may not. May we say waffle head? No! How about dippy doy doy? Absolutely not. Does this mean we can't say gooby snoob? Uh, what's a gooby snoob? Beats me, I just made it up. Uh, Drake, are you going to be helpful or are you just here to be silly and cause problems? I'm just here to be silly and cause problems. Then you may leave. Okay, see ya later, gooby snoobs. <laughs> Look, I'm getting tired of you kids calling each other names. How many times have we talked about this? Um, 64? 71? 200 and... Then why is it still happening? Because they were being selfish. We were not! You were too! Would somebody please tell me what happened? Okay, but we gotta warn you. It's a long story, and a complicated story, <laughs> with very, very intense dynamics. <sighs> Chapter 2, the long, complicated, and very, very <laughs> intensely dynamic story that happened 4 minutes and 37 seconds ago. Follow me to the dry erase board, so that I may illustrate this tale with the intensity it deserves. <laughs> Many turbulent weeks ago, our comic club got the news that one of our stories was going to be published. I stepped forward as our fearless leader to guide our troops to victory. <laughs> but then, fear reared its ugly head. We were plagued with self-doubt, imposter syndrome, and unrelenting anxiety. All the while, our deadline limped closer and closer. Naomi, could you speed this up? I just want to know what happened today. I'll get to that in an hour or two. Naomi! Okay, to make a long story short, we all got discouraged. Some kids lost their confidence, others quit, and I was left to pick up the pieces. After weeks of bitter fights and sleepless nights, Daddy said, Enough! No more comic club! Until you kids learn to straighten up and fly right. <laughs> Daddy always says that. It's true! Naomi, I'm beginning to lose my patience with you. All right, all right. So, today, I asked Summer and Starla for help. With kindness and humility in my heart, Hey, wait a minute. That's not how it happened. Give me that eraser. Uh, <laughs> this is what really happened. Naomi came downstairs yelling her head off. Ba -ba -ba. You guys don't do anything. You never help me. You're lazy and selfish. Now I shall call you hurtful names. Naomi, you have made us so sad. Even our tears are crying. 
wait, that's not the whole story. <laughs> I was in my bedroom. My muscles glistened in the- All right, I've heard enough, Naomi. You need to apologize to your sisters. Okay, I'm sorry, but- Apologies do not have butts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Naomi, I'd like to talk with you privately. Oh, Naomi's in trouble. No, she's not in trouble. I have a gift for you. Ah, oh, ha ha, I'm getting a gift and you're not. Bleh. Naomi! Oh. Chapter three, the gift. What's my gift gonna be, Daddy? Is it a lollipop? No. Is it two lollipops? It's not lollipops. Oh, man. Naomi, you're a very smart kid, but your people skills could use some work. I think you're finally ready to read this. Hmm. Uh, wait, my gift is a book? Yes. It's one of the smartest books ever written. This looks boring. There's no flipping Ramos or anything. Mm. Naomi, this book Can is I sold. Can I please have a lollipop instead? Please. All right. You may have one lollipop. Yay! Hey, where's all the red ones? Oh, wait. Here's one. Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh, ha. Pick up that wrapper! Thanks, Daddy! I guess she's not ready to be an influencer. Wait, what? Oh, it's nothing, really. But that book you left behind teaches people how to be influencers. Maybe you're just too young to understand. Hmm. 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 No trade backs. Has the comic club really ended? Or is everyone just too stressed out about the publishing of their book? Maybe everyone just wants to be alone. Flippy seems to have an idea by helping Naomi become an influencer. But how will that help the comic club? I guess we'll just have to find out in the next episode of Cat Kid Comic Club. Hey there, Gooby Snoobs. Cat Kid is copyright by Dave Pilkey, and it's published by Graphics, an imprint of Scholastic Inc. I hope everyone enjoys Cat Kid, and make sure you leave a like and subscribe. But before you go, stick around and check out a word from our sponsor, Glocusent. I just recently got this Glocusent LED neck reading light, and I was a bit skeptical at first. A light that wraps around your neck instead of hanging from my wall that requires dreadful wire to light up my room? Hogwash, I say. But when I tried it out for myself, boy, was I enlightened. This thing is amazing. The only way it could get better is if my own eyeball could shoot light. But that ain't happening anytime soon, Elon Musk. So the neck light is the best thing out there. The LED neck reading light is exactly how it sounds. It's a hands-free light that comfortably wraps around your neck and lights up anything in front of your face. It has three different brightness modes for whatever occasion. Dim, bright, and police helicopter spotlight, just in case anyone was sleeping while you wanted to use it. If you're like me, and you work too late, and procrastinate into the night, and want to get some light reading in, the neck light is perfect to light up the pages hands-free so you can read in peace, while keeping the power bill lower than your rent bill. And it's got a super cool feature where you can change the color of the light from normal to cool Cool blue to burning red. Want to read a scary book? Get in the mood with some red light reflecting off your pages. <laughs> so awesome! My favorite part is that it's comfortable around your neck. And you can easily adjust it with this springy, springy swivel contraption like an elephant trunk. 
so that you can point it in any direction that you want and where you want it to go so that it always illuminates your book or nipples but mostly your book and don't worry i've tested it myself by swinging it around like nunchucks and it's super durable don't swing it around like that though you'll hurt your sister or my lamp I promise I won't do it again. The first time I wore it, I actually fell asleep with it on without even realizing. That's how comfortable it is. But if you have an irrational fear of scarfs or something like that, and you don't want the neck light, they also have their USB rechargeable book light. It's great. It has all the same features as the neck light, aside from the nun chucking. And in my opinion, it gets even brighter than the neck light. My eyes! The clip slides right onto your book and holds strong so it won't slip off. And it won't slowly droop so you don't have to constantly readjust where it's pointing. Sorry, sarcastic ghost boy, you're fired! Aw oh, man! You keep falling asleep and drooping the light, and it's weird that you watch me sleep. I don't. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below and you can get a Glocusin neck reading light or the rechargeable book light for yourself. Just in time for the holidays. It would make a perfect gift for you, your friends, or someone in your family that loves to read. And did I mention they come in a bunch of different colors? Win, win, chicken, din, din. So click on the link and upgrade your reading. I promise you won't regret it. All right, well, that's all I got. So like and subscribe, like the video, all that. Go check out the stuff I, I said. Check it out. I'm going to sit here until you click the links down below.